Well, hey there, this is Jerry. I'm bringing you another episode of What's Broke Today. And today, it's kind of cool outside. <clears throat> I'm sitting in my 77 F-150. And we're going to... Okay, today we're going to swap out the light bulbs in the dash. And I got some of these... Well, I, I bought them off of eBay. But I am hoping... That these little LED lights are going to light it up really well. That uh, when we started out, um, now like my uh, windshield wiper knob, the clip is broke. But normally, if this was in good shape, there's a little slot here on the bottom. You'd stick a like a pick tool up, move, pull the clip toward the front of the knob. And slide it off. I usually I had one that has a hook on it. I can just reach up there, hook, pull, and then slide it off. And then our headlight rod, which that's because they come through this plastic. Um, on the back, you got to reach up under the dash, around behind everything, and on top of the headlight switch, there's a little push button, and you push the button down. And then turn the head. You got to turn the headlights on and pull it all the way out. Push the button down and kind of wiggle it, and then this will slide out. And then you can gently push it back in and click, click, and shut the lights out. And then uh, my radio. Got to take the knobs off. And then, uh, which this radio died, so I just left it in there because it. You know, takes up space. Looks better than having holes in the dash. But I got to take the little face plate thing that goes around the outside off. And get those two nuts off. And of course, you'll probably notice throughout this that I'll start on taking something apart. And then we'll take a, seems like a video break. Because I'm going to edit out some of this stuff. But... Then this little trim piece has got to come out of there. and um, This is where I should have brought my pick tool. Because there's actually holes going through in the bottom. He can reach down in and get a hold of it. So I'll just use the headlight deal and we'll sl slide that off. And that's mainly because Originally there was two screws here, but the plastic broke on one side. I had to take that one out. And some of that's because in the early days of the truck, I lost screws. And then there's... That was, there's another one. I bet you that one fell out. This middle one's still there, but... My tachometer's in the way, so we'll just loosen the clamp on it and swing it just down out of the way. We can just push that down like that. And then of course, same thing, the one that goes up through over here is broke. The plastic's broke through. And that may be check over there so when they've been broke I hunted down longer screws and got a, fl a flat washer that for the most part you don't notice it and the only person that noticed this actually is is me <laughs> so take those out and they're all Phillips and then this comes forward and it, there's a little slot there in the bottom of the um, center right above the steering column that, that will hook on to and then I just got to unhook the AC duct and then uh, Take the light loose that lights up the 
for the headlights and the wiper and it's just squeeze the two little tabs it's real easy and then the AC vent just has this little latch on it and I got a Phillips screw on the bottom on both sides and speaking of fragile plastic there's a little piece of where the cluster broke so been a while since I had this out so let's loosen that up and get it back out of the way looks like I to, yeah I pulled it out oh. and here's another problem I'd run into that I think I got fixed I have to show you the the fix for that because I had mice getting in here and I couldn't figure out why. Okay, there's this little tab on the speedometer cable, and then <laughs> there's another whirly bird. been nice that they've made wires just a, a little bit longer but got to unplug that blind but okay I'll just lay that up on the dash for now but if you go to pull this out oh shoot there's more signs of the mice We hope the mice didn't chew a walk. Oh, oh, I put my glasses on. Okay, I thought this they'd been chewing on that, but I don't think they had. I have to go get the vacuum, but yeah, and then uh, over here, headlight switch, a little push button is here on the back side. Oh. Yeah, the push buttons here on the back side. Just push it down and the headlight switch will come out. And of course our two tabs where it plugs into the back of the instrument cluster. Okay. And then of course here on the back we got you know our different bulbs and you know, I know if you look at the front, we got brake, turn, seat belt and turn, and high beam uh, headlight. Which means that these two will be our, uh, the two inbound ones, which I had two different ones in there and they they both quit working. Well, actually, I don't remember how long they've been in there. And the thing is, is I don't know with these bulbs, um, the polarity, you get them right. So I'm going to put them in. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. And of course, like the uh, the brake one's still in there, but the fasten seat belt, I'd left the regular bulb in. I should go take it out and leave. Well, well, we'll just leave the bulb in. I don't know if it ever comes on, but it's tied into the driver's side seat belt. And then I put these little LEDs where my turn signals, and they've been working because I'd seen them when I was driving. Of course, and then we have to put this back up here and then reach around the back side and plug it back in. 
this is there it is we're doing things by feel there's a pain in the um <clears throat> okay now I got that plugged in and then we can take our stick for dash lights put it back in and when you put it back in you just kind of you got to get it through the because your uh, dimmer is on the front side and you got to push that in until it clicks and then pull it out one click and those came on of course hard to see in there but Hey, there I got light. Okay. Got light on that side. And the thing I'm doing, noticing these seem like they turn in there awfully easy. So I'm taking my little tabs. Oh, which I'm taking these little tabs where the bulb contacts and pushing them out a little and then or if that was it they wasn't making good contact Well, that doesn't. That doesn't seem like it fits in there good. So I'm gonna steal the fastened seat belts because <laughs> it seems to fit real good. I'll just move that bulb over. It almost might be a time to think of getting some whole new ones for those sockets. Alright, so put our bulb in. I'm gonna go ahead and bend the tab the tabs up on that one and I can reach back there and find the hole. Okay. I now have lights, which I shut that off. see down in there. Before I finish out this video I'll come out here at night and turn it on. Yeah compared the hardest thing for me on this is plugging in those wires which if I'd have been paying attention it's not that hard to move that harness over and get a little better feel for it. So and then our speedometer cable is when we get ready to go back in just pull it up and slide it on the back of the speedometer and push it up till it clicks Let's set that back up in its hole and shut the door Oh, 
Alright. So I'd even stuck a little LED in my uh, um, there and I got one in here too in the temperature control. And so I'll push that button down and then that stick will a little bit of working and it'll come out. And I can just go push that in and shut all the lights out. And then we'll start putting screws back in. Of course I dropped them in the cup holder. Then when we put these back in we just want to be gentle. I probably wouldn't even have unplugged the back of that cluster and even showed it to you. I'd have just, uh, I need a washer. Okay, so I'll go ahead to hunt down another one of these because I'm going to have to put a washer up here because now the plastic's broke. Good shape there, and then uh, of course we got to have our this ready and ready to hook our tube up. Yeah. We'll do the light first, and it just goes up in this hole and lights up that little window. I mean, it's pretty cute how they engineered that. Put that up in the slot like so. That's probably the hardest part is pulling that back up and getting it on there and getting it to stay on. And then, well, if you get on there right, that little tab clicks easy. We've got to line things up and then a the tab on the bottom goes in the hole in the dash. And I put the one in over here. that in there another good thing is even with those broke let's, you can take this radio piece which it only goes in one way because it's basically square on one end and it's angled on the other and the angle goes toward the instrument cluster and of course the holes go down But that plastic will actually, it helps hold it up there too. And of course these, I just screw them up finger tight. Um, yeah, so I need to go... Um, so I guess I need three washers and two screws. So I'm going to head for the barn and I shall return. Well, I went out to the barn. I got a couple different size washers. I couldn't find any more of those I had before. But the smaller ones, man, they, they may be too small. Yeah, I think I'll go with the bigger ones. Of course, I think I just dropped one of them on the floor. I think I'll go with the larger ones. And I'm going to start out with the center one because I know this is the right screw and it fits. I'm not sure about those other screws. I 
brought up here that they're not exactly what I wanted, but and I'm probably still going to go back and see if I can find, go to the hardware store next week for some time and get some of those other oh, screws that I had. Um, like I was originally using there and then let's see if that fits it might be just a hair too big a screw to go up in there yeah I could force it but I don't really want to so yeah I think I'll have to hunt down I had to do some more digging. I know somewhere I've got something more that size, and I might even have something like that that I saved out of something else. But So I guess for now, um, we'll take a break from this, because other than putting in those two screws on the ends, we're done, and my light's... They're on. The bad thing is, is that the dimmer, when you put LED lights in these old trucks in the dash, <coughs> the dimmer doesn't work anymore for the instrument cluster. And I get my tachometer back up here. I put that up high enough, I don't hit my knees on it, but yet I can still look through and see the fuel gauge. So, so yeah, for now that'll do good. That The only thing I don't like about it, not, and it does dim a little now. Because at night the tachometer is kind of bright. So I actually thought about putting it on a separate switch. But I guess while we're here, I'll open the glove box. And I uh, take the camera off the tripod. So yeah, I got to buy a new glove box liner, but I'll hold the camera in here. And see if I can get a view of it. You see that silver stuff in the background behind the ductwork? Well, that's where the antenna comes in. And the rubber grommet that went around that had totally deteriorated. And then also, um, I shut my heater off. I wasn't sure, but, and you might have noticed in the heater core episode, um, in here, um, where the fresh air can come in I put a piece of screen up in there to uh, because they could also come up through there so I just took you know there's that rubber uh, or the rubber boot and then the metal ring well, I just took the metal ring and uh, cut out a piece of uh, that mesh yeah, see, I cut out that mesh, and it's it's that heavy, they call it um, hardware wire or hardware fabric. But it's not just, you know, it's kind of heavy like chicken wire, but it's got a quarter inch uh, squares or holes in it. So it lets lots of air flow through, but it, uh, you know, the rodents can't get through it. And so far, keep our fingers crossed, um... You know, so I got my new weather stripping around the doors. I haven't had any uh, rodents in here because rodents made a uh, nest in my uh, in the cab, and they made it here in the bag. You still see there's still a little bit of it up there. I know they drug insulation from something and built their nest back here, and it caused it to rust out. 
And that's one of those things that irritates me, but I'm not sure what the fix is for that. Other than to... Yeah, I mean, find another truck and... Uh, where I can cut sheet metal out of the cab and cut some of that... You know, cut some out and weld it in or try and fabricate my own. But I took the headliner out and redid it with uh, some vinyl and was able to you reach up in there and I could get that uh, with the headliner out of there I could get up in there and clean most of that stuff out and then uh, stuck the vacuum up in there because they had done it you know hadn't got up here by the windshield but it did it above the, the doors and the rear quarter windows well an annoying thing but, uh, you know, rodents, you can't got much, you know, they're going to try and make a nest any place they can. And they was dragging all those uh, whirly birds from the maple trees in here. And I'd turn on the, you know, the heat or turn on the AC vents. And uh, I'd blow the swirly birds out of the vents. So I haven't had that at all this year since I did those two things. So, but um, I'll come back out here after it gets dark and we'll take a look at my lights. We're starting out. It's dark. And it might be hard to see, but I got her done. It lights up. And, of course, my LED's over in the heater controls. And then it's amazing how that one little one, for it says lights and wiper washer really light up good but yeah I'm pleased with that it looks all right all right so another thing I did here in, on my 77 was which at night it looks good other than uh they got the new one on the driver's side and still the old one on the passenger side my new lenses so I get a little more amber out of the driver's side but I put the Sylvania LEDs in the front. And they're the, I don't know what they call Zevo. And then I got the uh, ones stuck in the side markers that they still, they, they're so sun faded that, you know, the red ain't too bad. I mean, it looks better in person than it does probably on video. Because on the, when I'm looking at the screen on my camera, it looks white, real white right in the center. And of course, uh, I got my tail lights, which during the daytime, I may have to switch to regular bulbs because um, I've been told that the brake lights are hard to see when it's daylight. But, uh, you know, I'll say, you know, I'll say even in the video screen, it looks really good in real life. Doesn't look that good in a... Uh, on the camera because it, it looks like the white's showing through but it in real life it's not as white as it looks like it is in the video but that's going to finish up my video on my uh, 77 that the only thing I may change is you know I think I am going to take the tachometer light and move it to a separate switch so I it's not on all the time because it is very pretty bright when you're driving I don't really want that much white light in the cab when I drive at night which they usually happens during the winter months that sometimes I'll drive it on Friday night and coming home that's awfully bright in my face but I'll say regardless I like the way you know the LED bulbs look really good that um but I do appreciate you watching always love those thumbs up for the likes um love all my subscribers thank you for uh watching my videos and uh feel free to let your friends know about my channel and uh stay tuned because don't tell them what else you're gonna see on what's broke today thank you